Hello guys, welcome back to Always Mobile Canada's YouTube channel. So, after the update last month, year 2022, on Galaxy Watch 4, I well, I have this uh, Galaxy Watch 4 Classic LTE. Well, I was so happy with the new updates because the last time, the first release on this Galaxy Watch 4, the reason why I purchased this is because of the feature on blood pressure monitor and the ECG. But when I purchase it, when I start using it, I can't find the blood pressure monitor, even the ECG, until I found out that this uh, ECG and blood pressure monitor is not allowed here in Canada. But last update, this new update when I updated it, so there's a blood pressure monitor now and the ECG. I am so happy that I can uh, always watch my blood pressure and the ECG as well. So let me show you how the blood pressure monitor and the ECG will work. First, you have to download the Samsung Health Monitor on your phone. So after downloading your Samsung Health Monitor, you can use your blood pressure monitor already. Here, I already have this uh, blood pressure monitor and the ECG. So how are you going to use it? If you are a first time user on this blood pressure monitor and ECG, so you have to calibrate it first by using this blood pressure with a cuff on it, on the arm. So this is the accurate one. So for you to get your blood pressure monitor on your Galaxy Watch 4 be accurate, you have to calibrate your blood pressure monitor on your watch through these uh, apps. So what you have to do is uh, go to calibration. Let's say you're a first time user, you have to calibrate it. So we are going to recalibrate it. First, when you you're going to recalibrate your watch, you have to go to your blood pressure monitor there and then recalibrate or calibrate your watch so what it says here is overview of the calibration process of your watch you will need a valid blood pressure monitor you will follow instruction within the phone app to take three measurements on your blood pressure cuff you will need to wear your watch during this time so it can be calibrated so you have to press next here and then before proceeding you should know do not change your medications or dosage based on your watch readings always talk to your doctor first avoid caffeine alcohol nicotine and exercise 30 minutes before measuring do not use if you are pregnant do not use if you have these medical conditions so we are going to start so make sure the watch is snug on your wrist look it's now saying here make sure the watch is snug on your wrist what it says on your phone will be in your watch so and then click next so fit the blood pressure monitor cuff on the arm opposite on your watch so i'm a left user on my watch so this is the left wrist so the other this cuff should be on the right so we are going to put this in my uh, right arm okay so it's in my right arm now so next so start blood pressure monitor so we are going to press this look watch the watch and the blood pressure monitor, it will synchronize. Okay, so it says here enter the systolic and diastolic is there a reading displayed on your blood pressure monitor yes enter now so the systolic here it says 130 so we enter 130 and then the diastolic is 76 so we enter 76 and then press done 
and then it says here it's asking to confirm the reading so we are going to confirm it so that's the first measurement and then we are going to press next for the second measurement we press next and then we start measuring the So this is the second reading. So it says here, is there a reading displayed on your blood pressure monitor? So it says, yes, enter now. So my diastolic, my systolic here is 124. And then the diastolic is 76. So we press done. And then we are going to confirm the reading. Okay. So that's the second measurement. The last, the final uh, measurement is the third one. So we press next and then we press next. And then we are going to do it again. So, it says, uh, is there a reading displayed on your blood pressure monitor? Yes, enter now. That's the third one. Third and final uh, measurement. So, what it says here is 131 over 80. So, the, the systolic is 131. And then, the diastolic is 80. So, we press done. And then, we confirm. So calibration finished. Now you can take a blood pressure measurement on your watch. Wear the watch on your same wrist as worn during calibration. So we press OK. So now we are going to measure my blood pressure on my uh, Galaxy Watch 4. So we measure it. And then make sure the watch is snug on the same wrist wa as worn during calibration. Okay. And then it says here result displayed by Samsung health monitor are not a complete diagnosis or of any medical condition so it says here do not interpret take a clinical action based on Samsung health monitor measurement without first consulting a, with a qualified healthcare professional so now we press there so it says here 126 over 76 Let's try here. It says here 122 over 76. Here a while ago it's 126 over 76. Let's see. Here it says 126 over 76 and here 122 over 76. So it's accurate and uh, it's really calibrated already. So now it's calibrated so there's another one so after checking the blood pressure monitor we go to uh, let's say ECG we check the ECG so make sure the watch is snug on your left wrist results displayed by Samsung health monitor are not a complete diagnosis on any or of any medical conditions do not interpret or Take a clinical action based on your Samsung health monitor measurements without first consulting with a qualified health professional, healthcare professional. So we press this and then we put this uh, pointer finger lightly on the sensor here. So it says here sinus rhythm. This ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. So the app never looks for sign of a heart attack. If you think you're having a medical emergency, contact emergency service services. So the average HR 68 bits per minute symptoms. Uh, it says here, it, it's going to ask feeling unwell. You press add if you don't feel good. Or view this ECG in the Samsung health monitor app on your phone and then press done. So we go here. So this is the result here. So this, these are the results. 
okay even you can even share the reports or these are the history of your ECG and this is your blood this is my blood pressure here the, the history so anyway guys this is the most important apps for me well I'm a healthy person but I'm also a uh, health conscious so I really needed this app the blood pressure so that I can uh, always uh, monitor my blood pressure so this is the Samsung health monitor blood pressure and ECG and here if you are active you can if you want to do your workout walking running cycling or if you want to work like other workout you also have the treadmill swimming running coach circuit training swimming or hiking etc etc weight machine so but uh when i do my workout in my gym in my basement i just press this other workout so lots of features in galaxy watch 4 so i'm happy with the new with the new updates i can now measure my blood pressure and uh, monitor my blood pressure and uh, ECG as well so thank you guys for watching I hope you are also happy with your Galaxy Watch 4 now that it has this uh, blood pressure monitor and ECG here in Canada and I think other country they don't have that ECG or blood pressure monitor on their Galaxy Watch 4 hopefully in the other country they will have their blood pressure monitor and ECG as well after the updates on the Galaxy Watch 4 thank you guys for watching please subscribe on this channel and hit the like button and the notification bell so that you will get notified every time we upload our latest video thank you guys have a great day